All right, how are you doing today, guys? Welcome back to another day of Seven Great Math. This is Mr. Gomez, your favorite teacher in the whole world. And today, we're going to keep on talking about simple interest. If you haven't seen this previous video when we talked about this actual worksheet right here, make sure you check it out. If you haven't subscribed to my other channel, MTV Alex, I'll leave a link for you right here. And uh, if you want to support the channel, link down in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. So, I'm just going to talk about one really quick thing that I did not talk about uh, on the previous video. And that's about using the same formula. I did show you how to find the time or the principle given the data. But I did not show you how to find the rate. And the process is the same. For instance, if I'm given, for example, I have an interest of $390. My principal is $1,300. I need to know how long will it take. I mean, what's the rate? I don't know. After six years. So basically, if I need to find the rate for six years of $1,300 that gives me $390 of uh, interest rate, I need to use the, uh, the formula and work it backwards. So again, the formula is I equals P R T. Remember, we have to convert the percent rate as a decimal. And that's going to be the only difference whenever you find in the rate. So right now, what I'm gonna do is substitute the values in of everything that I currently have. So my interest is gonna be 390 equals, my principal is 1300, my rate, I don't know that, and my time is six years. So now I have to solve for R, I have to solve for R. And you have to leave in order to solve for R, I gotta leave it by itself. So just like on the previous video, when we multiply in any order, it doesn't matter, we can do the same thing right here. So in order to leave R by itself, I have to first multiply this and this. 1300 times 6. And that's gonna be 7800. So this side of the equation, this side of the equation is going to be rewritten as 7800 R, and the left side stays the same. Now I have a one step equation. I got to solve for R, and in order to solve for R, since they're multiplying, all I have to do is divide by 7800 on both sides. What I do to one side, I do to the other side. So this will eliminate this side. You will left with R on the left. And on the right, 390 divided by 7,800. Again, this is TiVo. Gives you 0 0.05. And this is where you do not stop right there. You do not stop right there. Because this is as a decimal form. And if I need to convert that back into a percent, all I have to do is multiply times 100. Again, it, it lives at, whenever you divide these two, it gives you that decimal right there. Now, you cannot leave it as a decimal because remember on the formula, we use it as a decimal when originally is a percent. So we got to multiply by 100 or just move the decimal two places to the right. So this will be a 5% rate. That's how you find the rate. It's the same thing as finding the principal or the time. However, do not forget to change the decimal into a percent. That's the only difference. I hope that you learned something today. If you haven't, please make sure you subscribe. If you haven't seen my other videos, go ahead and check them out. Other than that, that is it for this one, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.